hi people welcome back to the channel this is jane you're welcome back to a new sewing tutorial today we'll be learning how to make a bubble dress with a neck piece a v-neck piece design and a front design as well so if this is something you would like to learn how to sew if you're a new subscriber thank you for stopping by if you're a returning subscriber Thank you as well. So if this is something you are interested in, please watch the video to the end. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like in the comment section. And always remember to turn on your post notification bell so that once I upload a new video, you get to be notified first. Alright, so here are all the materials that I'll be using. And also, with me, I have my pattern paper. I'm going to be explaining what we'll be needing that for. All right so um the fabric that i used here is a 1.5 um uh, inches yard this is for a smaller person this is for a very small person if you are going to be making for an average size you can use three um yards or four inches depending on the size okay so here i have my fabric folded into four already we'll be cutting both the front and the back together but first we are going to place our markings and the markings will be for the back which will also represent the front so after folding up the fabric into four places the length that we will be using is 46 inches plus one inch for sewing allowance at the bottom of the dress so going back to the top i marked out half an inch for the shoulder and that is where we are going to be taking all of our measurements from so at the top i placed um, the shoulder measurement which is seven inches i added extra half an inch on it for sewing allowance because we are drafting exactly on our fabric okay so on the shoulder there i marked out my neck width and neck depth okay for this uh, pattern so for the neck width i used three and a half inch and for the neck depth i went to i used um 1.5 inch so the neck width and the neck depth for the back is 1.5 inch for the neck depth and for the neck width i used um three and a half so now after getting that you go back to your shoulder line and you're going to mark one inch downward for the shoulder drop then you go back to your neck width and then you're going to be connecting them together to create the shoulder slope for this design. So placing your tape back on the top at the shoulder line, you're going to mark out the distance from your shoulder to your bust line. You place a mark there, come down to the armhole line. That's the shoulder slope. You are going to mark the armhole line. And for this, we'll be using 8 inches. So I'm going to now square these two lines together to create a horizontal line. And this horizontal line will be the chest line. And it's on this chest line we are going to be placing our bust circumference, okay? So after getting all the markings, we are going to be marking out this straight line, which is going to serve as a chest line. Now from the shoulder as well, you are going to come down to get the distance from the shoulder to the waist. So for this, the distance from the shoulder to waist is um, 16 inches. And then I'm going to mark that across the fabric. And also we are going to get the distance from the shoulder to the hip and the distance from the shoulder to the hip also is um, 25 inches we will mark that across as well then coming down to the length of the dress the length of the dress is 46 inches and that we are also going to mark across the fabric so what we have left is going to serve as a folding our hem for the lower part of the dress okay so we are going to use the remaining to hem the dress now going back to the chest line we are going to place our bust circumference divided by four and the bust circumference we're working with here is 36 inches divided by four and that gave us nine inches and then we added extra two inches to it to give us um 11 inches so from this point now we are going to now go back to our armhole line you mark uh, measure out the armhole which is 8 inches and then you get the midpoint come in at the midpoint by 0 0.5 inches 
then you can now use your free hand to connect um, the lines to touch your shoulder drop so this new armhole line is the front armhole for this uh, dress so for the back as well you just go ahead and connect to touch the straight line on your armhole this is it so we've connected both the front and the back armhole of this dress next what we do is to come to the waistline you take your waist circumference divided by four i'm working with 30 divided by four that is 7.5 plus two inches extra for allowance depending if you have enough fabric you can go more than this then coming to the hip line the hip is 39 divided by four and then i added two extra inches to it and that will give us our hip measurement so i went back to the um, waistline to add my sewing allowance to it half an inch sewing allowance to the waistline and the bust line so already because the fabric is not enough we are going to use the whole of the fabric the entirety of the hip line for this pattern and then for the hem line whatever you have on your hip is what you are going to be placing on the length of this dress so after that i'm going to be connecting from the length that's from the hem of the dress to touch the hip to connect down um, up to touch the waist and then up to also touch the chest line so you can see that we've connected them together now so moving up to the front of the neckline for the front for the neckline of the front i placed my tape on my um on the shoulder line and i'm going to mark out 7.5 inch for the neck depth of the front and then i came in by one inch okay i came in by one inch then i'll use my ruler to square out the v neck shape and then connect it to the one inch that i have in front so this is for the neckline of the front remember already the width we are working with is 3.5 inch for the neck width and the neck depth of the back is 1.5 the neck depth of the front is 7.5 so now that we have all of this now we are going to start cutting our fabric we will start by cutting out the back if you cut the front um the back the front before cutting the back you're going to mess up your fabric so the way to do it is to first cut out the armhole of the back all right so that way the the two piece the two fabric the front and the back are looking the same and then we went ahead to cut out the shoulder okay the shoulder i added extra half an inch at the shoulder point then i went ahead to cut out the neck width of the back the neckline of the back sorry so you can see after cutting out the um, armhole of the back and the neckline of the back i also went on to trim the sides as well so now that that is done we are going to take off um the back uh, fabric that's the back pattern so that we can modify the front neckline all right so that's what i'm going to do here after cutting out right so now after we've taken out the back we are now going to cut out the neckline of the front so you can see the way i'm cutting it i went ahead to cut out at exactly on my markings and then i went on to cut out the squared shape that i have at my center front of this pattern so after cutting out i'm going to open this up so you see what the front will look like you see what i have see that deep v that i have in front of my uh, fabric this is what you should be going for if um when you are cutting this out so for us to make the neck design for the front this is the black fabric that i'll be working with now back to my pattern paper so for us to create the design that we want on the front i went ahead to just mark out as the length that i want the um, design to be so at this point you can make any kind of design that you want you don't really need much calculations on this but i decided to um, draw it out on paper before transferring it on the fabric so that i know exactly what shape that i'm going for so right here i've marked out the shape that i want um, my design for the front to be i went ahead to mark out just lines and then connected it just then she gave it a, a kind of curve at the bottom to give it some form of shape okay and then that was it it's as simple as that i cannot really give you a calculation for this you can just go ahead with your intuition and what length and 
and what length you want and what design you want for yours so after marking out this design on the on the paper i went ahead to cut it out after cutting it out i placed it on top of my fabric and then we are going to go ahead and cut out exactly the shape on the fabric okay so that's what i've done here i placed the pattern on top of the fabric that i'll be working with then i went ahead to cut out the shape exactly the way that i have drawn it on my fabric so this this stage is very easy and simple you can use whatever measurement that works for you you can use whatever kind of design that you feel comfortable with so now that this design has been cut out the next thing to do is to work on the neck piece so you see that for this dress it needs to have a neck collar okay it needs to have a neck collar and for us to do the neck collar now we are going to first of all um join the front and the back together so after we've cut out the neck design for the front we are going to be joining the front and the back together so what i'm doing here right now is to place uh, the front of my fabric and the back right sides facing each other and we are going to take it to the sewing machine we are going to be joining it by half an inch at the shoulder line so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do right now i'm going to be joining these two pieces by half an inch so i'm going to be using my pins to secure um the shoulder so then after securing them with pins we'll take it to the sewing machine and we are going to be joining it by half an inch at the shoulder line so you need to join the front and the back first before we um mark out the length of the collar that we'll be using for this pattern after joining the front and the back at the shoulder line this is what it looks like so we are going to open it up and for us to do the um collar for the front you are going to have to open up this and you are going to measure round the neckline so what i'm doing now at the point where i have uh, my straight line on top of my fabric i'm going to place my tape at that point where i have um that sort of square in front of my fabric i'm going to place my tape from that point and i'm going to be measuring the neckline all around till i get to the other side of that straight line so please note that you are not measuring plus the squared line in front of your garment you are only measuring from the edge of the squared line to the other edge of the squared line and please ensure that you have an accurate measurement when you are measuring this neckline so after i've measured the neckline all around i had 23 inches I also went ahead to cut out the strip of fabric. So the fabric that I cut out is on fold. So when you are cutting out the collar for this, you need to put it on fold. I put it on fold and then I measured the length to be 29 inches and the width is 2.5 inch. So I wanted the collar to be 2 inch. I added extra half an inch to it. So that half an inch will serve as the joining allowance for this collar so i measured out the strip to be 29 inches and the width um was um 2.5 inch so after that is done now i'm going to take the strip of fabric and we are going to be um joining it to the main piece that's to the dress so the way we are going to do this collar is that uh you're going to get the midpoint of your of the Color. so what i have done here is to mark out the midpoint of my back okay the back of uh, dress that's the back neckline of my dress i placed a notch at the midpoint and also placed a notch at the midpoint of my strip then i placed them together right sides facing each other i used my pins to secure so when you are joining this collar to your fabric you're going to be placing it on top that is the right side of your fabric you're going to be placing this color on top of the fabric at the right side right sides facing each other then you pin pin down at the notched area that's the, that's the center of the of the of the back uh, neckline and also the center of your collar you pin it down 
then you now take it to the machine and you're going to run a stitch from one end to the other ensuring that your stitch stops at the point where you have that straight line running at the middle of your fabric i hope you understand this so at the point where you have that straight line at the middle of your fabric you're going to stitch and you're not going to stitch up to that point all right so now guys after we have stitched we've joined the collar to the dress this is what it looks like okay you can see the reason why i said you should have excess so that when you are done joining you can be able to cut out the excess so it's better you have excess instead of having shortage now that i have joined you can see now that the collar has been joined to the fabric so what we we'll do now is to tuck it in so what you do is to just um overlap it on each other and to do that we are going to create a notch at that edge at the edge where we have um, that straight line in front of our fabric we are going to place a notch there just go ahead and place a notch that notch should be able to allow you to fold in um, the excesses you have into the fabric okay so that's what I have done here now after placing the notch and then you tuck it in properly what you do is you now go to the machine and you're going to stitch it down so you're going to stitch it down properly and after stitching we are now going to attach the front design on it so this is my front design i've placed it uh, where i want it to be on the fabric so what you will do now what i did next was to use my hemming tape okay my hemming gum to secure the edges so when i take it to the sewing machine it doesn't move around it stays in one place and it will allow me to stitch it properly so that is why i used a hemming tape if you don't have a hemming tape you can go ahead and secure with pins and stitch so after that is done we are going to work on the sleeve this is my sleeve i've done a video on how to draft a sleeve pattern if you have not seen that i'm going to leave it in the description box all right so this is my short sleeve pattern i have this in the length of 11 inches and the sleeve opening is eight inches okay so because my fabric is not enough that is why i have it uh, this short so for the edges of the sleeve i've gone ahead also to cut out strips of fabric for it and it's also on fold i cut it on fold and i'm going to be attaching the strip at the edge of my sleeve so please note that i also cut out the black strips unfold so i'm going to take this to the machine now and i'm going to be attaching it at the sleeve opening for the both sleeves and after attaching them this is what my sleeve looks like all right so now at this point now you can now go ahead and attach your sleeve to your fabric so what i've done here is to get the midpoint of my um, sleeve okay i got the midpoint i notched the midpoint actually then i placed it on my fabric all right so i placed it on my fabric secure it with a pin i'm going to go and stitch the sleeve all around so i'm going to attach the sleeve to the sleeve opening that i have on my garment so i'll do this for the right side and i'll also do this for the other side of the sleeve so for both sleeves you're going to um, get the midpoint of the sleeve place a notch on the midpoint and then place it on your shoulder okay shoulder line of your garments place them together and uh, secure the both of them together you can use a pin to secure them then after that you now go to your machine and you're going to stitch all around all right that's what i have done i've stitched all around my sleeve so after stitching all around now i'm going to now join them together now so you can see that after you've attached your sleeve i've attached my sleeve to my garment the side of my garment is still open so for us to close it off i am gradually arranging the sleeves uh by the side so that when i take this to the machine i'm just going to run a stitch from the under of my sleeve down to the hem of my dress so i'm securing the sides with pins so that when i take it to the machine i'm going to stitch from the sleeve down to the hemline of my dress i'll do this for this for the right side and i'll also do the same thing um for the left side we i attached the sleeve 
then I pinned them by the sides and then I went to sew it together. So after stitching up, this is what our dress looks like. I've stitched up both the sides and this is what it looks like at the right side. So I've also taken the liberty to um, hem the lower part as well. I've hemmed it by one inch. You can see what it's looking like. I hope you found this video helpful. This is for someone who is on a very small size. So if you're going to be making this, like I said, from the beginning, ensure that your fabric is up to three yards or more, depending on how wide and how big you want your uh, booboo dress to be so at the end of all of it this is what our dress looks like the design came out beautifully well i'm going to place it on the mannequin so that you guys be the judge of this all right so this is what it looks like on my mannequin it's looking very very lovely i like the neck color and i also like the design at the front if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave a comment like and share my videos i'll see you guys in my next one stay blessed bye